Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, it's Nitin here, and today I have come with a very special problem, and it's a special occasion also, guys. Uh, this is uh, I have completed two hundred videos on uh, YouTube, and uh, the time it has taken is one year and uh, one week approximately, you can say, and uh, it's a major uh, milestone for uh, this channel, and uh, we are also. Uh, approaching almost 10,000 subscribers so thank you everyone who has been a part of this channel from the beginning and uh, the currently uh, so here uh, this special problem is uh, elliptical drop on uh, horizontal surface so guys this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together and uh, my current courses on Unacademy are uh, uh, for INPJO foundation and for J advanced 2023 uh, currently in this batch uh, circular motion and work power energy will be starting and uh, there is another batch for uh, J2023 it is emerge and in this batch we will be starting kinematics and uh, other than that advanced problem solving course for J advanced 2021 is currently going on and uh, it contains some of the finest problems of J physics and uh, advanced courses uh, advanced course for J2022 in Hindi is already going on and uh, we have completed uh, we have completed nearly you can say current electricity in this and another course on rotational mechanics is uh, going on currently it started on first week of june and you can access my theory courses of last years which are advanced plus plus uh, levels for boosting your j preparation you can unlock these courses on unacademy using my code nathan sir and for more info you can visit www.unacademy.com and uh, guys trust me physics will never be the same again so here is the statement of uh, this problem it's an uh, original problem a drop of mass m0 and density rho0 is kept on a horizontal surface in uh, uniform gravity of g the surface tension of liquid is t0 uh, the spherical shape of uh, drop is disturbed due to the contact with the horizontal surface and its weight assume that the shape of drop can be assumed as uh, an ellipsoid which can be obtained by revolving the ellipse about uh, its major axis the length of semi major and minor axis of ellipse are given by a and b respectively a small circular patch of radius r not of this drop is in contact with the horizontal surface as shown in the diagram find the value of radius r not of this patch so guys here you can see uh, the point a is open to atmosphere so pressure here is going to be p not and uh, the point p is just inside and it has multiple radius of curvature so here uh, we can uh, calculate the pressure at b by using uh, surface tension or excess pressure uh, concept for multiple radius of curvature so one radius of curvature is this and since it is uh, ellipse so it is a square by b and uh, this one is uh, b here so I can write this uh, pressure difference between B and A where pressure of B will be more. So PB minus PA is going to be T times 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. You can uh, see here the surface will be somewhat like this. So this bigger radius of curvature uh, it is going to be A square by B. We have already derived these results in uh, previous videos. So I am directly using it here. And you must remember these results for uh, objective problems as well. And the radius of curvature of this is going to be B and it is into the plane here. So pressure at B I can write as P0 plus T times 1 by A square by B plus 1 by B. And uh, similarly I can write the pressure at uh, point C here. Let's assume this height is uh, H. So pressure at C will be PB plus uh, rho GB plus H. Now here I'm using that approximation uh, actually when I try to solve without approximation it was giving terrible calculations that's the reason I'm taking uh, this r to be very very small and that's the reason it is given r is very very small or you can say uh, it is uh, corresponding to contact angle theta c is equal to pi so both means the same here and uh, now you can see this uh, if contact angle is nearly uh, 180 degree or pi and b is uh, almost equal to it will be equal to h because that uh, radius of the patch is very very small so in that situation this pressure at c i can write as p naught plus t 1 by radius of curvature which is a square by b plus 1 by b and rho g b plus h will become 2 rho g b 
all right now free word diagram of this entire liquid i'm uh, drawing here and you can see these are the extra part which is uh, coming away from this uh, radius of patch uh, uh, patch radius of r so here the forces are going to be balanced by p not uh, here they will cancel out so overall effective force by this atmospheric pressure on this drop in downward direction will be p naught into pi r square and similarly at uh, the bottommost point here i am taking entire liquid that means the last layer of liquid which was in contact with the solid i am taking that also into consideration so that uh, surface tension force becomes internal force and we don't need to write the surface tension uh, force at uh, this boundary so this will become pc into pi r square and its weight m naught g is downward so now we can just balance these uh, equations so p naught pi r square plus m naught g and that is going to be balanced by pc into pi r square when i simplify all i need is the value of pc minus p naught so when i substitute it i am going to get r value as m naught g by pi times t b by a square plus 1 by b plus 2 rho g b and whole power 1 by 2 this is going to be the final answer for this problem here uh, actually guys under this assumption uh, there is one more uh, thing is possible uh, that you can approximate in this manner also that volume of this i can write for ellipsoid it is 4 by 3 abc where two radius are uh, b so that volume is 4 by 3 pi a b square you can use this uh, also so in that situation uh, this will become m m naught is equal to rho naught into 4 by 3 pi a b square you can use uh, this result uh, as well that solution is also correct unless until we go for accurate uh, values so this is going to be the final answer for this problem i hope guys you have understood and enjoyed this problem it's pretty simple yet uh, tricky problem and uh, such type of questions can definitely come in j advanced type of exam and uh, since surface tension is uh, already one of the favorite topic of je people uh, very frequently you will see some nice problems from uh, surface tension so if that is the case please leave a like share this video with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it we have a goal to complete uh, 10k subscribers as early as possible so please keep sharing uh, I know already you guys are uh, sharing a lot and you have helped me a lot. Thank you. Thank you for everything.